area, but Southern Carroll County right now. Uh, we need to keep a close eye on that storm. It continues to show some tight rotation. Betsy. Yeah, and it, that is the same storm that has been putting down tornadoes, confirmed tornadoes, all the way back west of Mansfield. That thing has just been ongoing. All right, so here's the big picture with all of our alerts. We have a flash flood warning that continues in Erie County, which does include the city of Sandusky. <laughs> and uh, we have had some damage reported in Perkins Township in Erie County. Not only tree damage, uh, supposed Supposedly or reportedly uh, a deputy had live wires in, in the area. So there's uh, power outages out that way, we know. There's also a flood advisory, which basically means there's flooding uh, in uh, northern Lorain County and also much of Cuyahoga County. And thank you to the folks who've been sending me updates via Twitter or X or whatever we're going to call it anymore. Uh, it really does help to kind of get an idea of what's going on. And, and our folks in our control room are trying to work out getting some pictures for us. But uh, we know that we have some flooding that is ongoing in some of our eastern suburbs and that is a big problem as folks have been out and about also up into east lake in willoughby and willoughby hills and uh, we have still a flood advisory for that location too extreme eastern trumbull county uh, there it is there so there's merle uh sending me uh that picture right there that is uh, what they're calling lake park hill uh in cleveland heights and that is a snapshot of just how much rain we have had coming down and not only how much but remember we have to talk about rain rates and it is summertime and we have had, you could feel the humidity in the air today and when we start talking about rain rates that is how fast that rain is falling how hard it is falling and when you start to see the bright purples and especially the whites that's where we're talking two to three plus inch per hour rain rates possible and uh, that is basically Basically, like an instant flash flood. The, the drainage in the the cities, and no matter where you are, it's just not able to keep up. So we've had repeated rounds of that very heavy rain, and that is obviously overwhelming systems. And so we have uh, areas where we are dealing with a lot of standing water. Number one, which will go away, but we also have these flood advisories because all that water will eventually get down into your streams and then your rivers. And so we are going to have quite a bit of uh, water flowing throughout Northeast Ohio. But our the strongest storms are often the most efficient rain producers, and that is uh, the case right now. That's where we have these very heavy rainfall rates that are in uh, southern sections of Carroll County. So that's that nearly two inch per hour rain rate. And these thunderstorms are training. You get one after the next of this extreme rainfall, and that is going to cause uh, the possibility of that localized flooding. So it's not just a tornado threat. It's not just a wind threat, but the rain threat is a big issue. And, you know, you may have some branches that fall down in your yard, but if you have a couple inches of water in the basement, that's a significantly bigger problem than a few branches down in the yard. At the same time, if you're in areas of Carroll County right now where you still have this tornado threat that is ongoing, you kind of have a twofer. You've got not only the tornado threat that you got to take shelter for, but then you're also going to have the flood potential as that heavy rain continues to come in. So the swirl, the rotation, is seems to be right on the southern border, right on the county line, the southern county line of Carroll County, and continuing to move to the east. We've been watching the hail that's associated with this too, uh, and there's the actual warning. You can see exactly where that warning is uh, and then the hail it seems to be backing off just a little bit uh, but really, we've been aiming into portions of Sherrodsville, uh, into Leesville, and Delroy getting in on this, Bowerston. Uh, this is now just going into uh, north <laughs> of, uh, of areas uh, near there. And you can see that uh, that smaller tornado warning box lies within the larger severe thunderstorm warning box. So they're trying to pinpoint where the uh, most intense area of that thunderstorm is and specifically where the rotation is taking place. To me, it looks like we're starting to lose some of the organization of this. It's starting to broaden out just a little bit. And we are in Bowerston uh, with this rotation right now. And that is going to continue to move off toward the Rumley area. It's going to go right along the county line, the southern uh, border of Carroll County, uh, farther to the east. Now, remember that we aren't done yet. And uh, actually, I'm going to back this out one more time and just kind of show that bigger picture of where that thunderstorm is in relation to some of our other areas. Canton, your severe clear 
right now, but we're really kind of specifically down into extreme eastern Tuscarawas County and more specifically extreme southern Carroll County. That's where that bigger uh, issue is. Now, there is the uh, picture that has all the lightning associated with it, and you can see where our other thunderstorms are. If there's any good news out of this, it looks to me like our line, remember we had these thunderstorms lined up along the lake shore, it really looks like this is starting to move south. So hopefully this is a sign that our severe, or excuse me, our uh, cold front is moving down. Is this downtown Cleveland? It, CSU cam, see in blue. This is some phenomenal news, everybody. So hopefully that is uh, really the end of the threat for the severe weather for Cleveland and the lakeshore areas. Meanwhile, farther south, we still have uh, rain coming down. Now we are looking west-southwest. There is the edge of the cloud cover, and you can see the cumulonimbus clouds as they start coming up. We're probably getting some of the offshoot clouds too, the anvil clouds coming up over off of the tops. Uh, and then you get farther southwest and you're looking right down the pipe here of where those thunderstorms are lined up southwest of Cleveland. And look how dark it gets. And you get this, ooh, and we get lightning. Uh, you get these uh, low hanging clouds. This is just a sign of how much humidity is in the air. Uh, and you get any kind of agitation on that, any kind of lifting, and it starts to condensate. And we get these uh, real low level funky looking clouds and a lot of times people start to immediately go, oh, that's a tornado, and it's not. It's just some harmless what's called scud clouds. Uh, and you can even see some of the smokestacks from the, the uh, industrial valley there starting to send stuff up, and it's beginning to move farther uh, to the east, too. So we're taking a nice big swing around here uh, to get a view out of Cleveland. We're now looking uh, southeast, and we're going to swing around to the east here. Uh, and you can see the kind of the back edge of where some of these thunderstorms are. And then you look northeast and you start to punch out of it and you get right into uh, where we're back to blue skies. So just a really fascinating picture uh, to show everyone. Uh, and, you know, that rain threat will continue to move south. I do want to show you, I, I know I have this in the kitty here, uh, and this is a, another way we can kind of keep track of where the best threat is, where the cold front is. Uh, but you can see this line right here, and that is moving off to the southeast. So I think we are in really good shape later on this evening that that front comes through. Lakeshore, we're pretty much done. I'd have to say we're close to severe clear. We may have a few isolated pop-up showers that are still going to come through, but the real severe threat continues to be in our extreme southern areas, more specifically Carroll County at this point. Matt, you have anything more on that? Any updates? Uh, it looks like, I mean, to your point, it looks like everything's kind of heading just outside of the Carroll County line. It's yeah. still hugging the border, but I'm pretty sure we'll be able to let things go here as it's become a little bit more broad. I do want to touch on the rainfall. This map shows the estimated rainfall from the day. When you get into the yellows, those are spots that have seen over an inch. When you get into the red, you've seen over two inches of rain today. And look at the soaking Northeast Ohio has taken as we've gone throughout the afternoon. The other thing I want to turn on here, if we go back to last night's storms, it just kept going over the same areas. We have some wow. serious water to get into our area rivers and eventually into Lake Erie. Some of these purple shaded areas up towards Erie County, I mean, we were tracking this last night, they had three to six inch estimates. We're now upwards of seven to eight inches in spots in the last 24 hours. And you can see the heavy rain stretching through Lorraine County back towards Medina. Another little bullseye down there towards southeastern Stark County. So certainly some heavy rain. We're waterlogged. We don't need any more rain, but we continue to see the rainfall here. And until this frontal boundary goes by. I love that little shot that we took uh, because it shows just the difference in air mass between prefrontal and then postfrontal. That front sitting right in here. So Lakeshore counties, we should start to clear things out here this evening, but we'll have to watch because it's going to take its time. I mean, you've got this cell right here that's kind of ruining things for you in Elyria. I thought we were dry and we still have another downpour. So scattered downpours, severe threat is still there as we go throughout the rest of the evening for counties that are not through that front yet. Uh, but the good news is the atmosphere getting really worked over here, uh, and that should, you know, make the evening go a little bit smoother around here outside of that. So we area. just had a reissue of the mm -hmm. tornado warning for Carroll County, and more specifically, the National Weather Service out of Pittsburgh saying that a funnel cloud was reported uh, between Sherrodsville and Delroy. So that is that uh, storm that 
just continues to produce uh, funnel clouds and rotation. And that is in extreme Southern Carroll County now. You can kind of see where the update is. It's gonna take it over toward the Bloomingdale, Bloomingdale area. Burgles is gonna get the uh, hail side of things. So we're kind of gonna look toward uh, Carrollton for some hail, specifically the south end of Carrollton. But uh, the area where we are really kind of focusing our efforts as far as what we're watching is where the rotation is. And that rotation came south of Sherrodsville, which is right here. Here's Bowerston, Leesville is down in here. And that continues to move here uh, over toward the north area. So Rumley, uh, if by chance somebody is uh, watching us in Rumley at this point, uh, that is a big concern, but extreme Southern Carroll County. Uh, I'm not even sure, quite honestly, how many people watch us uh, in Carroll County, specifically Southern Carroll County. I know Carrollton they watch us, but Southern sections of Carroll County down here. But we have a lot of folks who have lake cottages and they do camping and all of that at the lake the little lakes that are lined up right here uh, throughout Tuscarawas and Carroll counties and points farther to the south. So that rotation continues again south of Sherrodsville. There was a funnel cloud reported uh, and that was uh, north of Delroy and that's going through Bowerston right now and will continue to move eastward uh, on uh, 250 as it's continuing out of New Philadelphia. It's north of 250 uh, on 151 more specifically State Route 151 as it's continuing to move from northwest to southeast through here. And again, the 911 center in Carroll County received an additional call for funnel cloud uh, that was reported between Sherrodsville and Delroy that was headed in the direction of Delroy. So that's down in this uh, southwestern corner of uh, Carroll County. So plenty going on today. Uh, I know that we have obviously been dealing with not only the lightning and we've dealt with thunder. We've had tornado warnings. We have had severe thunderstorm warnings. We have flash flood warning that continues, uh, but we also have a lot of flooding. We still have folks that are out and about and, you know, this is going to continue to be kind of uh, the focus here for the next uh, couple of hours as we still have yet to see the cold front come through. Once the cold front comes through, which is sitting just out here on Lake Erie, then we'll start to see things tapering off and settling down a little bit for us and things should get a lot better for us. Uh, let me just check this, see what this one is. New flood advisory just issued uh, for uh, just south of Youngstown. So that's Mahoning County. That's that green box that just popped right there. Uh, so if you hear the little dings, I have my phone set to like every alert possible uh, and I have them coded. So you'll hear different dings for different things. <laughs> that, that should be a t-shirt. Uh, <laughs> But uh, when, when it starts to get real crazy, the, the sounds get a little bit more crazy. and just helps me pay attention a little bit better. Just a little aside. Uh, but, you know, all right. So last chance here. Extreme Southern Carroll County. Tornado warning continues. That is going to move out toward the Cottage area, Bergholz area, and then over towards Steubenville. So we're going to release everybody on that one. Uh, we have very heavy rain that continues to fall just north of U.S. 30 in portions of Richland, Ashland, and Wayne counties, also into Medina County. This is going to continue to move southeast. I would not be surprised if we have some kind of a flood advisory issued in Richland, Ashland, and Wayne counties. So heads up for Mansfield, Ashland, and Worcester that you very well could be seeing a lot of standing water there. If you have travel plans tonight that take you down 71 or 77, please take care because the roads are wet and it can get real squirrely real quick on the roads. So I think at this point, because of where that threat for that tornado warning is, we are basically out of our viewing area. So I think we'll turn it back over to if we still have dirt biking on or whatever. Uh, but we're going to, gymnastics is on right now. Uh, so if you're a fan of gymnastics, rock on, back to you. Uh, but we will be back for the 6 o'clock news in just a few minutes with the very latest on what's going on. Thanks, everybody, for all your patience today. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Matt.